Technologies broadly are, are fundamentally the cause of climate change. You know, it's the burning of fossil fuels, uh, in energy system, um, agricultural practices, and so on. So, what we're looking for in terms of technology as a solution to climate change are the improved technologies, whether they address mitigation, so they reduce greenhouse gas emissions, or technologies that allow countries to deal with uh, you know, a changing climate, so the adaptation side. As part of the international community's response to climate change, developed countries are to assist developing ones with adopting and developing various technologies to deal with both the causes of climate change and its impacts. One, one of the starting points for uh, supporting countries with their technology needs is for them to develop what we call technology needs assessments, TNAs. So that enables the countries to go through a detailed process in trying to find out what are their barriers and opportunities. So the technology needs assessments lead to um, a selection of priorities of sectors and technologies that the developing countries need help with. There are 36 countries now have completed their technology needs assessments, uh, including Bangladesh, Côte d'Ivoire, Mali, for instance. And now we're entering a second phase of TNAs, and that will involve 25 countries. The assessment process is also intended to identify the barriers in adopting and developing these technologies. These often include lack of appropriate policy, professional capacity and know-how, and financial barriers. Jeff, the Global Environmental Facility, is one of the key international organizations that help these countries overcome some of the barriers along the process. Uh, the, the GEP is supporting uh, technology transfer in uh, developed countries and economies in transitions for um, doing the technology needs assessments, but also for um, funding concrete projects uh, implemented on the ground uh, with mitigation or adaptation benefits related to technology transfer. Uh, yeah, a few examples. One is, for instance, a project we have in Nigeria. Uh, where uh, we supported, uh, we are supporting Nigeria with uh, support Nigeria to develop uh, the capacity in the country to produce micro turbines for hydroelectricity. The idea is to have at, at the African in the African continent a place where the production of micro turbines is becoming possible. In the past years, there has been progress in facilitating technology transfer and development, among them the recent establishment of the Climate Technology Center and Network under the UN Environmental Program. But there are still a number of key hurdles for developing countries that need to be cleared to be able to adequately respond to the challenge of climate change.